Did you know that a popular magazine literally saved the Sharpay from the brink of extinction? Or that Sharpays are one of the only six basal dog breeds in the world? Interested in learning why Sharpays have purple and black tongues? If questions like these intrigue you, stick around. In today's episode, we're counting down the 10 most interesting Sharpay facts that you didn't know. And that all starts right here, The Smart Canine, the only show that explores the most interesting stories and facts behind dogs. But before we dive in, get that subscribe button and notification bell for more dog facts like this. Smash that thumbs up if you want more videos on the Sharpay. Number 10. Sharpays are one of the most ancient dog breeds ever. Believe it or not, historians estimate that the Sharpay has existed since the year 200 BC. However, it's very possible they were around even earlier. But how do we know this? Archaeologists in China have dug up statues that show an extremely close resemblance to the modern Sharpay that we know today. And according to historians, these artifacts can be dated back to the time period over 2,000 years ago. So in reality, we don't actually know for certain how ancient these dogs are. Number 9. The Sharpay is one of only six dog breeds in the world that's considered a basal breed. You must be wondering, what's a basal breed? Not only do these dogs have to be ancient, but they need to have far less mixed DNA than our modern breeds. In other words, these dog breeds were developed in a much more organic and natural way. Most of the dogs you see today were purpose-bred for an appearance or physical trait that helped them with their jobs. What's more impressive is that there are only six of these basal breeds, including the Sharpay. The other five include the Basenji, Akita Inu, Finnish Spitz, and the Eurasia. That being said, it's likely that the Sharpay changed very little compared to how they were over 2,000 years ago. Number 8. There is a very specific purpose for the wrinkles of a Sharpay. Have you ever wondered what the purpose of the wrinkles were? Spoiler, it's not for good looks. We'll skip over the confusing science part. So long story short, it's the large amount of mucin in their skin that causes the deep wrinkles. But because their skin contains so much mucin, it serves two crucial purposes. First, it creates a lot of flexibility and stretch in the skin. However, the downside is that the skin can get easily cut. But at the same time, if the skin ever tears, the mucin helps it heal extremely quickly with little to no scarring. Just think of them as a dog version of Wolverine. In the past, Sharpays spent a good deal of time as participants in dogfights. And with the wrinkled skin, it makes it very hard for opposing dogs to bite and grab into their skin. Even if opponents go for the Sharpay's vital organs, they're likely just going to get a mouthful of skin. Plus, any tears on the skin will heal quickly for the next fight. Number 7. The Sharpay has the most unique terms in its breed standard. I think it's safe to say that Sharpays are truly unique dogs. No other dog breeds have physical qualities as striking and special as the Sharpay, and it even reflects in their original breed standard. For example, there's the claim shell ears, black bean triangular eyes, old lady's face, bamboo tongue, butterfly nose, shrimp waist, yellow cattle neck, and so much more. These are just some of the phrases used to describe the physical attributes of the Sharpay. Historians don't know exactly how all these names came about. However, most of the phrases came from the everyday objects that early Chinese Sharpay breeders could relate to. Like, roof tile mouth was coined because it resembled the old roof tiles used to build Chinese homes in the past. So, is there a breed standard as amazing as the Sharpays? We don't think so. Number 6. Sharpays have one of the closest genetic relationships to the prehistoric wolves. When you imagine dog breeds closely related to wolves, the Siberian Husky or Alaskan Malamute often come to mind. After all, they kind of do look like wolves. On the other hand, the Sharpay with its wrinkled skin and large mouth looks to be the furthest away from the wolf. But this simply isn't true. According to a recent study, researchers took DNA samples from 414 dogs spanning over 18 different breeds. All in all, they found a handful of modern breeds that were the closest relatives to wolves. The shocker wasn't the Husky or Malamute. Rather, it was that the Sharpay was part of the group too. Who would have thought these wrinkled canine companions would be so closely related to the vicious wild wolf? Number 5. There are two types of Sharpays, differentiated by the shape of their mouths. Believe it or not, there are two varieties of Sharpays. And while the signature wrinkled skin is present in both, the most noticeable difference between the two is the mouth. There's the meat mouth Sharpay, and then there's the bone mouth Sharpay. These words describe the snout or muzzle of the Chinese Sharpay. Bone mouths were named as such because of the dry type of muzzle that they have. On the other hand, meat mouth refers to the variety with a meatier mouth, for lack of a better word. Meat mouths tend to have heavier wrinkles and loose skin around their snouts, giving them the impression that there's more meat on their snouts. 
Most refer to bone mouths as the Chinese variety, whereas the meat mouth is the American variety. So let's know in the comments below which variety do you own. Number 4. The Guinness Book of World Records once called the Sharpei the rarest dog in the world. As one of the top 75 most popular dog breeds in America, it's hard to imagine the Sharpei being listed as a rare dog, let alone the rarest in the world. But things were much different back then. In fact, there were only 8 known Sharpeis in America during the early 1970s. In the 1973 edition of the Guinness Book of World Records, the Lo Chen was listed as the rarest dog breed in the world. However, just five years later in 1978, the Chinese Sharpei overtook the Lo Chen for the top spot. So, how did this happen? When the Communist Party overtook China, not only did the party slaughter thousands of dogs, but they imposed a hefty tax on dog ownership. Unfortunately, this decimated the Sharpei population that was once blooming in its motherland. This unfortunate situation nearly pushed these wonderful dogs to extinction. Number 3. Life Magazine Literally Saved the Sharpei from Extinction If you own a Sharpei today, you most likely have Life Magazine to thank for that. In 1979, Life Magazine decided to put the Chinese Sharpei in the cover of its magazine. Not only that, but a full feature piece covering the now famous plea of Hong Kong Sharpei breeder, Mat Go Law, was inserted into the magazine. Law was concerned that Hong Kong would reunite with China after the Communist Party took over mainland China. And if that happened, some of the last few Sharpei's in the world would be subject to the strict regulations of the new political party. After the magazine issue was published, the popularity of Sharpei's exploded in America. And in 1986, the Sharpei registration numbers went from 8 to at least 13,000 in just a few short years. Needless to say, the revival campaign by Life magazine worked. Number 2. The Sharpei's black tongue was believed to serve two specific purposes. What do chow chows, giraffes, polar bears, and Sharpei's have in common? They all have black and blue tongues. But have you ever wondered whether there was a purpose for it? Well, according to Chinese folklore, the black tongues of the Sharpei were meant to ward off evil spirits and ghosts. With a Sharpei in the home, the Chinese get to rest easy knowing that their home was free of any unwanted spirits. Another purpose of the black tongue was to make the dog look more vicious than they actually were. When dogs growl at you with a darkened tongue, most intruders and wild animals would simply not want to mess with such a scary-looking beast. Number 1. In Chinese mythology, there was a Sharpei dog god. Chinese culture is famous for its folklore and myths. However, in one legend, there was a dog god who happened to be a Sharpei. His name was Punhu. And folklore depicts this dog as having fur with five colors, similar to how the old ancient Chinese dragons were drawn. As the legend goes, an ancient Chinese emperor offered a pot of gold, along with his daughter's hand in marriage, to whomever could kill his nemesis for him. Panhu was up for the job. Not only did the dog god bite off the head of the wanted enemy, but he also brought it back to the emperor. In the end, Panhu married the princess and had six sons and six daughters. Eventually, the offspring would grow up to become the famous 12 clans of Chinese mythology. But that's a story for another time. So, which Sharpie fact was your favorite? Did we miss any that deserve to be on this list? Let's know in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to The Smart Canine for the most stories and facts behind dogs.